ever wondered why are Mentos so good at making your soda explode? Well, today we are learning all about this and more with my soda explosion experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your ponchos because things are about to get messy. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Think of the smoothest surface you know. Maybe it's the palm of your hand or your bathroom mirror or even your kitchen countertop. But if you look a little closer, like your palm, for example, you'll notice bumps and ridges. Even your bathroom mirror, if you looked at it under a microscope, you would also see bumps and ridges because no surface in the universe is perfectly smooth. Today, we are going to use something that seems perfectly smooth, a Mentos, and learn that in fact, on the microscopic level, it is quite rough and we will be using that to make our soda explosion today. Here's what you need to create your soda explosion. You want diet soda. This will be better than regular soda because it will be less sticky and easier to clean up. And ideally a two liter bottle that has been sitting out in the sun for a couple of hours. I promise that will make it shoot up higher. You need a stick of Mentos, a glue gun, and some safety glasses. We wanna be safe here because again, it's a soda explosion. Now carbonated beverages like this one contain a ton of dissolved carbon dioxide. When soda is sealed under pressure, that carbon dioxide stays dissolved, but it's not hard to release it. You just wiggle the soda or put a straw in and you'll see those bubbles release. Well, today we will be using a stick of Mentos to release a ton of carbon dioxide bubbles at once. We want our soda explosion to shoot up very high in the air. So to do that, we are going to add a lot of Mentos at once. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to just hot glue an entire stick together. So go ahead and take all of your Mentos out and we are just going to stack them right on top of each other and hot glue them one by one. Just need a little dollop there. And parents and adults, be careful because we are using a hot glue gun. You wanna be careful with fingers. And this is probably something that you should be doing. And there you go. So that is what a full stick of Mentos looks like all glued together. And when we are ready, we are just going to drop this right into our soda bottle and prepare for the explosion. Before you do that, you wanna make sure you have your safety glasses on, your ponchos on. Come on, poncho. And get ready for an explosion. All right, soda explosion in three, two, one. Woo <laughs> three, two, one. Woo <laughs> so why did Mentos work so well to make our soda explosion? Well, this isn't a chemical reaction between the Mentos and the soda. No, this is a physical reaction. Because while Mentos may seem really smooth, if you looked at this under a really powerful microscope, you would notice on a molecular level, it is actually quite rough with many mountains and divots. And all of those mountains and divots acted like nucleation points, pulling the carbon dioxide out of your soda. And because it had so many nucleation points, it pulled out so much of that carbon dioxide all at once. Thank you for making a soda explosion with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Emily's Science Lab.